Alright, what's good y'all? So I'm about to break down the sample on the screen. Let's get straight to it. So here's the sample, it's three sections, main melody right here, that goes throughout the whole melody, vocals and some accents and some other cool stuff. The first idea I started off with was this sound right here. So it's a repetitive string melody, and I used augmented strings for the melody, I went with the soft side preset. Here's the MIDI, it's a one bar loop. I start off like I usually do with a minor chord right here. I start off with this uh, B minor chord, but the D is inverted one octave up as you can see. After that I just uh, messed around with the minor chord and I stretched out the D, and I moved out to the F, added a bunch of notes in a nice, like in a fast rhythm. So after, after the first chord I went back to the root note, I went up one octave to the next B right here. The C sharp right here is the sus2 note so that's the melody you know uh, just uh, one chord with a interesting rhythm after i had that i went to black hole added some reverb and an eq taking out some lows and some highs after that i added dark piano down here it was the noir pierre dark preset i just went with the root note in a nice octave i start off by looking which octave sounded the best i went with the b2 right here after that i just pitched it up one octave right here to the b3 and then the f right here is the fifth of the chords after that i added this little accent thing right here at the end After I had these two, I felt like I needed a little counter melody. I couldn't figure out which instrument to go with. So I went to Splice and I found this vocal phrase right here. It's from the cassette tapes goodie bag sample pack right here. And the original vocal phrase sounded like this. After loading it in, I pitched up two semitones, uh, time stretched it, and I also reversed it. So now it sounds like this. After that, I right-clicked this WAV file, I clicked open in Fruity Slicer channel. So after I had it in Fruity Slicer, I, the first thing I did, I went up to this slice tool and I clicked per beat. So now it's chopped up at every beat of the sample. After that, I turned up the attack to give it some sort of like movement and it also get rid of the clicks in the sample. So now it sounds like this. After that, I went into the playlist of the Fruity Slicer and I got rid of this uh, original thing and I came up with this pattern right here. Uh, just moving around notes, trying to come up with something that sounds nice. And now it sounds like this. After that, I exported it and I even chopped up some things right here in the playlist. So the final vocal chop sounds like this. And I also had a sound shifter on the master and pitched down the whole sample to semitones. Now it sounds like this. So that's the A part of the sample. For the B part right here, the second part, I kept the same strings, the same piano. I got rid of the vocals. Instead, I went into Prod by Cloud's Ether multi kit and I went with this Julius Arp C sharp minor. Dragged it in right here, pushed it down two semitones, and I also went into Xenology, just looking for a simple sound. I went with the AXJP brass and copy pasted the chords from the dark piano just to fill up some frequencies. And now the B part sounds like this. And the C part is just the strings with the piano, something simple. After I had all of this, added the stems at the end, I added the sound shifter to the master, and now the final sample sounds like this.
But that's pretty much it for the breakdown. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something new. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Peace.